I shouldn't have hit record when I did, but I wanted to get it started anyways. So now I'm just waiting, and lady's gonna talk. Come All on. Ships. Yeah. Multiple artifact signals. All right, welcome to another Steam Controller tutorial video. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a pretty quick one here. We're gonna go over mouse cursor and mouse region. That's something that can be pretty easy to overlook. So, what does mouse cursor do? Well, it's like for for a game. I'm in a home world, deserts of Karak. I haven't really played this much, but um. Let's get in there. Ooh, look at that detail on that little guy. Yeah, like this game, you know, like for down here, I actually don't technically need it for here. I combined all this to other stuff. But let's say we wanted the cursor to go there. That. I'm down here, I can do it. I let go, and then it went right back. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Or. took the cursor right down there when I clicked that. Well, so okay. So what that is doing, it's actually really simple to do. Um, I put move cursor on a double press of the left bumper. So I just go binding move cursor. I just click on the move cursor. It is right there. So I click that, and then I'm able to put the cursor anywhere on the screen. This is, I really wish that you could um, kind of like toggle the screen out of the way, just so you knew like to see the HUD. But you know, like I know it's down here, so I want it about right there. And then I'm gonna push A to confirm that. Now, I made it so when I hold that in, you know, it stays down there, and then when I let it go, it's gonna shoot back to where I had it. But you could um you could specify that. So I double click, it puts it down here. I'm still holding this, so I have access right down here for a real quick. Energy signature confirmed. And then it snaps an back. So hostile forces are attempting to extract an artifact. Shh, 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 shh. I know. Yeah, I can't load an empty map on this game either, so <laughs> basically just let them annihilate me. But yeah, so like if we have the cursor over here, I double click it, it's down here on my stuff, I let it go, it's back where it was. Now, the mouse region functions a little differently. That is, that's something that you bind to like the trackpads, something that you're using for mouse input. It modifies, so here I have a mode shift on the right bumper, have the mouse act right here, style of input, have that act as a mouse region. And it's, it, you probably would wanna experiment and fiddle around with that. You can find a lot of really good uses for it. it I've fiddled with it for a twin stick shooter even. Um, the main thing is when it's mouse region, you're able to kind of lock the cursor into somewhere. So like if you have a twin stick shooter, you can map it, you know, you can have like, well, I can't, you know, like you, you could scale this very technical, you know, you can make a box, have it be in the center of your screen, like for a twin stick shooter. So it would kind of scale around a little box. Like limit the, uh, yeah, that's, uh, it would limit the range of how far the cursor goes, which can be useful, useful if you're using mouse output for a twin stick shooter, because then it would keep it locked around your character, kind of the way the binding would work for an analog stick. You know, like it, it keeps that little cursor kind of locked around the perimeter of your character instead of shooting the cursor way to the corners wow, of the screen. So, if, like, for this, I put, you know, horizontal. I want it way over there. 
vertical, I slid way down because I wanted it towards the bottom of the screen. Now, the only thing I forgot to mention in that. The only thing when you do that is that, well, yeah, then this, uh, the scale like that, it's, that's changing, you know, how far it's going when you have that, when you have that enacted. Now, the only thing with this, though, is that it doesn't snap back, which is why I really like that mouse cursor. The mouse cursor thing is a, a newer addition. It's not, I just, I haven't covered it completely it's not a brand new thing but it was it was one of the more recent additions to the mapping yeah so here you can see th that's just because the cursor is getting to the edge of the screen but you know you can see the range like it, it limits the range oh I'm losing but it limits the range to, to this and then I let it go and it gives me so I hold it, that's about as far up as I can go. I let it go, now I can go way up. And then the mouse cursor one. The mouse cursor one does still give you the full movement, but it's just gonna snap it right where you want it. Which I actually find much more useful for uh, like a hot bar or something like this, you know, where I needed to get down here and click. And you could, you know, put that anywhere on the screen. So that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I needed to go over. I just wanted to cover those briefly. That's something I don't think I've... Are attempting to extract an artifact. Okay, I understand. That's something that I feel like I'd never really covered in the past. Um, and like I said earlier on, it it is one that you can pretty easily overlook. But it's, uh, it's, it's pretty convenient. Like any game, maybe even Daisy or Arma, I could, I could see that working. Like when you open up your inventory and you have a little box that's always in a particular spot on the screen. You know, you could either use the mouse region if you just wanted to limit the scale of the cursor movement in that inventory box, or you could snap it down with mouse cursor to quickly get to a specific spot. So yeah, it's it's a pretty snazzy little thing that once you use it a couple of times, you're probably going to think of it more often and find a lot of stuff you can use it for. One more notch on the belt for a tutorial video. This is one I'm actually looking forward to playing. I just, um, I'm not much of a... I like... Yeah, that's what it is. I like slow simulation style games, but... I hate being a manager. I actually had a discussion with this with a friend. It sort of makes me feel like I'm the manager of a shopping market. Like a shopping, a grocery store. I'm the manager of a grocery store. And it's like I have to order people around to clean up spills in aisle 10 or aisle 7 or whatever. I always like being the person cleaning up the spill. That sounds terrible. A lot of rambling, but I tried to stay on point. Don't think about nipples. Be professional. Hit the tires! <laughs> oh, I love this game. <laughs> yes, you get it. <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh.